Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we'll be looking at and reflecting on some of the psalms from the Bible, which were written as songs and can still be sung, but can also still be used as prayers. Now, a brief disclaimer before getting into this psalm. The psalms will be numbered differently in different translations of the Bible. This is a very, very old discrepancy, and to help clear things up, I'll be explaining what number the psalm has in the Dewey Rheims Bible and in the Revised Standard Version. However, the episodes themselves will list psalm numbers as they're given in the Dewey Rheims Bible. Sorry if this is confusing. Anyway, this is Psalm 19 in the Dewey Rheims Bible, but Psalm 20 in the RSV. Unto the end, a psalm for David. Brief description. May the Lord hear thee in the day of tribulation. May the name of the God of Jacob protect thee. Tribulations are bad, unpleasant, or trying times. This psalm wishes for God to hear us when we call for his help in difficult situations. May he send thee help from the sanctuary and defend thee out of Sion. May he be mindful of all thy sacrifices, and may thy whole burnt offering be made fat. In burnt offerings to the Lord, the fat of the animal was reserved for sacrifice to God. So, in addition to wishing that God will protect you and pay attention to the sacrifices you make for him, this psalm also wishes for those sacrifices to be more complete and more easily sacrificed, as well as, presumably, more pleasing to God. May he give thee according to thy own heart, and confirm all thy counsels. People don't all have the same needs, and they certainly don't all have the same desires. This part of the psalm wishes for God to give people their own individual needs, which they're aware of. To confirm someone's counsel means validating their judgments, and it's impossible for God to do that unless that judgment is true. So, in a sense, the second part of that verse implies or wishes that you'll give good, true counsel, judgments and or advice. We will rejoice in thy salvation, and in the name of our God we shall be exalted. A lot of stress in churches is placed on exalting the name of the Lord because of how important that is, and how rarely and insufficiently it happens. But we need to keep in mind that God will also do the same for the faithful in time. He won't be outdone in generosity. The Lord fulfill all thy petitions. Now have I known that the Lord hath saved his anointed. Petitions means requests. He will hear him from his holy heaven. The salvation of his right hand is in powers. God's ability to grant salvation is immensely powerful. Nothing can keep us from that except our own choices. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will call upon the name of the Lord our God. A constant theme throughout the Bible, place your faith in God, not people or things. They are bound and have fallen, but we are risen and are set upright. Horses, chariots, and other material things don't last forever here on earth, but the faithful of God do have eternal life. O Lord, save the King, and hear us in the day that we shall call upon Thee. A plea for God to hear our prayers when we need Him. A very positive psalm overall, wishing well to others while appreciating the good things that come from God, and finally, asking God to help us when we need it. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.